Well, yes, because the deed did happen. There's still, there, there, there's, the facts are the facts. Life is life, what happened did happen, regardless of if I know about it or not, but if I know about it, I can cope. If I don't know about it, I'm not coping. So you wanna know for selfish reasons? Baby, a lot of things are selfish. I told you the reason why I won't step out on you is because I cannot handle the guilt. I do respect the union of marriage, and I and, and that, that, in itself is enough for me to be like, okay, I know that it is not the right thing to do, but the thing that actually would keep me from being like, nah, is because I can't deal with the guilt. Yeah, so your selfish reasoning and your selfish motives, you are now saying, because I'm a selfish person, you should tell me all this. No. But you don't think that it's selfish to be like, one shall not snitch on that oneself? Like, that is literally, that, that is selfish. Touche. Like, touche. So I'm selfish you and you're use selfish. thou and one. Like, <laughs> Garrett, so two selfish people right. with two di with two selfish intentions. But my on two different sides. Okay, of the but course. see, and I guess yours is to uh, preserve the relationship, right? I I assume, or is it just to preserve yourself? Mine is me. Okay, I'm trying to preserve the relationship. Though. I'm preserving me. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the selfish one. I'm not, I'm not the selfish that one. Self-preservation is not <laughs> selfish. Touche. <laughs> You're I'm serving the relationship too, but you're I, not I gotta, the relationship. I, I gotta be good in order for us to be good. You gotta be good in order for us to be good. So if I'm good and you're good, then damn it, we're good. I was trying to tell you hey. how, how you can help me be good. And I'm telling you how you can help me be good. <laughs> Leave me the hell alone. <laughs> Shit, but you ain't done that. So what's, what's the deal? We sit here and have all these conversations. There. What can I do to make you feel better? What can I do to do this? I give you a hundred different damn things and you do none of them. Now you're going to come over here and tell me some shit like that? Get out of here. what's so interesting is I feel that same way about you sometimes. It's like you have no solutions. You got all the problems, no solutions. So guess what? And you feel the same way. And we feel the same. So guess what? Ugh. It is what it is, damn it. Being human. Shit. So you just... You we rocking. We good. But you good? Just I'm to be good. clear, on your end, you don't want to know things. No, Still. I'm not. I'm not asking questions. I'm not gonna ask. But those even questions. if you didn't ask, like if it's something that I know that you probably should know, but you don't technically have to know, you'd rather. Yeah, I'd rather not. Yourself. I'd rather not know. So let's just say it's years from now, and uh, there's a man, <laughs> and we share a kiss. And I'm like, oh my god, I, could, I shouldn't have kissed him. I, I, and maybe I did kiss him back, but I'm like, okay, it's never going to happen again. You don't want to know about that. Hell this. no. You don't want to know? What, what, oh good, my god. what good does that serve us? I already can't deal with the guilt what, I, of my hypothetical situation. Let's, but really, let's work through this. What good does that do for us? If you had a moment when you exchanged a kiss with another man, and you were like, oh my gosh, that was all bad. We can't do this. I just had a lapse in judgment. It's done. What good okay, purpose? But then, no, hold on. What purpose does that serve to say, I just kissed another man? That does nothing. Well, because you why need to would work I through that. kiss another man? But maybe it's, a, yes, it's something you I need, need to work through on a personal level. You need level, to work through that on a personal level. But maybe level. there's and, something in the relationship that's like. And I agree. But I'm saying, okay, we need to come to the table. If I had that moment, I need to work through it personally. And then you may need to come sit down and be like, okay, I'm just feeling like the chi is off. Something, we, we got to move. So there's, but you might not understand how dire it is. Like, if I'm sitting up here kissing another man, that's different than it me saying, hey, you know, I, need, I think we need to work on some things. You're your commitment to the issue will be different. The urgency would be different if yeah. you knew I, I, the facts. It's not. It, I don't think that's created. <laughs> that's, that is not a solution. What if I like straight up slept with somebody else? You don't want to know. <laughs> I mean, at that point, it's just cold, I, cold I infidelity. I slipped. <laughs> Well, this is, you, but I you, left it. We you, were you have been the one that's always said, you know how many steps you got to go through to go ahead and have so sex with somebody. Many, I can't forgive. It's not that I can't forgive because I'm working through this too. We've had conversations because I'm trying to be more understanding with infidelity and stop trying to think that everyone has my moral compass because it, 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 it it boggles my mind. You have to meet up. You gotta get the eyes. You gotta do the kissing. There's the unbuttoning of the pants, the taking off of the shirt if you get that far. There is protection if you get that far. Um, but I mean, there's the actual stroking. I mean, there's some foreplay going on, hopefully. <laughs> there's 
there's, you know, and then there's the actual deed. And then there's like the finishing of the deed. And so you're trying to tell me that you don't think about what you did until you're done? Like, and even then you might not? Like, you're that hot and bothered? I, I, and that's what I'm saying. So you have been the person that has always said all the stuff that you had to go through. Okay. So if you then come to me and say, well, I've slept with someone. Okay, well, this is... Now, if you had just had a moment where oh, there's just this quick kiss and it... Okay, but I'm just saying for the sake of this conversation, if I went through all the steps and slept with somebody else, do you want to know? Yeah, we're gonna have to talk about that one. We <laughs> so might have to, I like we're gonna to, I, I just feel like oh that one, like that's a major that's a major thing to talk about. Like you kiss somebody, like So the the the, like, huh? the, the thou shall not snitch on oneself does not apply to actual sex. And, and no, I, I, I <laughs> Yeah. Cause that's the thing. If it were you, if it were you, I'm not snitching. You're not snitching on I'm yourself. Not snitching. That's the thing. So do I just keep that to myself? Yeah, damn, you got me. <laughs> Yeah. That's what I'm saying is I smoke know. got me. <laughs> it's I ran for my life. Lord Jesus, it's a fire. So it is a far. Yeah. That's but I wanna know, like for real. That I don't have an answer to that. About I'm stumped. They say what they what was that show? Stump the Schwab? I'm I'm stumped. I did not see that show. I'm stumped. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Is so you're basically you feel like if you had Man, sex with somebody else, I got to think you about this. That to yourself, but if I had sex with somebody else, I should probably bring it to you. No, I, I, I don't. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. So you don't want to know. I don't so you know. just want me to have sex with somebody else and not tell you and just keep going. But like I just feel like I trust you not to do that. And I, I trust you not to do it, but I'm just saying I'm that if something that. were to happen and I did. You don't want to know. Yeah, you got to go ahead and say, you know what? This is just not going to work. We need to go. Uh, <laughs> Married Millennials has been real. <laughs> this podcast is over. <laughs> Love Jace. Cease to exist. <laughs> but yeah, I just, it's. But that's the thing is like, is that something that you want to know so we can work through? Or would you rather me? I don't know. I don't have that. I don't have a definitive answer to that question right now. But those are the things I think that you have to think critically about when you're married. It's the I'm not saying you don't. And right now, <laughs> in, in this 90 seconds that since you've asked, I don't have enough time to think critically. But so I'm just gotta say that it. I don't have an answer. But that's what I'm saying is I but I but you had one for yourself and it was like don't tell. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so that's what I wanna know. But I'm not I'm just, I'm not I'm not putting myself in those positions. So it's good. Okay, but I'm just saying if you know yeah, I'm not. I hate doing this <laughs> goddamn ifs. I'm so sick of people talking about if. Well, shit. If I if I die tomorrow, I'm dead. Well, hell, like it is what it. Stop saying if. Well, if this, if that, if you do this, then this can happen. Well, no shit, Sherlock. There's a lot of things that can happen if you throw if in front of the shit. I'm not living my life on ifs, goddammit. I just think you're better prepared if you consider the ifs. Infidelity is not a very, it's not a strange thing to consider or think about when you are married because again, you've signed up for a lifetime commitment. People are attractive, they are distracting, and and tempting even, especially if you're, you may be in a hard spot in your relationship, you've been married for 20 years, like you just never know. Just don't put them in my spots, you know, just, you know what I'm saying, just hey. Shit. What spots you got? What are you talking about? Hell, like your know. bed or like physical spots? My I physical only got spots. one my, spot. My spots. Like, hey, hey. Look, I am the spot, baby. Yeah. If I were putting him in a spot, he would be exactly yeah. your spot. You know what? <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it at all. 